Hello. Um, this video is to help support an exercise in my year nine design class where we are looking at how to take data and use it to inform our design choices. And part of this is we want to figure out how to take all this data from this text file and read it into a, a list that we can then do some analysis to. If you're interested, you can find this code and a whole bunch more on my GitHub site right here. And with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so to do this, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the file um, that we're reading from and the Python file are in the right location. And the way Python works by default is that your text file, which we're going to use random data, random data raw, is in the same folder as our Python file, which is data analysis one video. And so the first thing we do is we create a variable and we use this function called open. And what open does is it allows us to open um, some text file. In our case, our text file is called random data raw.txt. And I pass it two parameters. And the first parameter is the name of the file that I'm going to open. And the second parameter is what I want to do with it. So what this does is this creates a variable data that points at the file and is prepared to read from it. Okay, so what's our next step? Our next step now is we have to actually get all the data from that file. So to take all of the data from the file, um, we are going to use an instance method called read. So I'm going to make something called data string, and I'm going to say data.read. Now you might have heard me say instance method, and you might say, what is that? So what an instance method is, is it's a method that is invoked using some instance. In our case, the instance is data. So what this means is, is that when the read function is called, it will go and read from the file that data points to. So now if I print data string, and I save this, let's give this a run, there's all that data as one really long string. Now this is a massive file, so we're just going to leave that there. So we now have taken all of the data from the file and we've copied it into the string, which is okay, but really to do analysis of it in a string form is kind of challenging. So the next thing we want to do is we want to copy the data, copy the data from the string into a list. And you can do this manually, but the fastest way to do this and the best way to do this unless you have reason otherwise is to use something called the split method. So the split method is a string method and it requires a string as an implied object. Um, so what we do is we're going to make something called data list which is going to be the variable that stores our list and I'm going to use the data string and I'm going to invoke the instance method called split. And what split requires is some character to split on. And in our case, what we want to do is we want to say, um, base, find every new line, we've used the escape code backslash n, and we're going to use that to indicate a new element. So again, this is the implied object, data string. It's the instance that split is going to use. We are going to split that string on the new lines, and we're going to copy that into data list. So now if we print data list, what we should get is we should get, there's all our data now in a list. Now you might notice something that kind of causes you pause, and it should. It's that this list is all strings, meaning I can't do any numerical analysis to them yet, because even though you and I recognize these as numbers, um, the program thinks they're strings, and we can't do basic you know, numerical analysis. So what do we have to do? So the next thing we have to do is we have to cast all the strings, all the list elements, into floats. And floats are a type that store decimal values. So to do this, we are going to use a for i and range loop. Now there's a bunch of shortcuts to do this, but I always like sticking with this rich, this format because it gives you the best understanding to build on. So for i and range, and we're going to go from 0 to the length of data list, and we're going to increment by 1. 
So what we're going to do in here is we are going to say data list at i, meaning take the ins take the element from data list at i, and we are going to cast it using the method float to a float. So remember, if I have a list, for example, and that list has something like one, I don't know, 3.2, 3.42, and 5.43, whatever it is. This is a list of strings, three elements long with indexes zero, oops, with indexes zero, one, and two. So what this loop does is this loop will go through and it will look at every index and it will take the value from the list, cast it to a float, and put it back into the list. So we're going to convert that string into a float. Casting is the process of changing type. Now you might say to yourself, you're going to get an error, and you're right. And let's see what that is. So the error is right here. So casting to a float only works if the string contains the numbers 0 through 9 and one single decimal. But you'll notice some of these strings can carry a comma, which indicates, you know, it's just a way we can indicate a magnitude or just separate our numbers. So what we need to do is we need to first remove all of those commas. And we can do this using this wonderful method called replace. So I'm going to say data list at i equals, and this is a string instance method. So we're going to invoke it with data list at i, which is a string. And we are going to replace, and we are going to replace all of the commas with an empty string. And this is a very powerful technique because what it does is it will find those commas and it will collapse the string into nothing. So it will remove them all. And so now let's go outside our loop and let's print that list. Let's give this a run. And there we go. We now have all of our data in this list that we can use in a variety of ways to analyze. And your next step now is to figure out what would you might want to do with this in order to analyze that data. So in summary, this line opens the file. This line reads all the content from the file and stores it as a string. This just prints it out so we can see what's happening. This takes the string and converts it to a list of strings using backslash n or a new line as indicator for a new element. We just print it out. Then we use this loop to go this loop through loops through every element. This is our standard kind of bread and butter algorithm we call it. And then each element we replace all the commas with an empty string. And then what we do is we cast the element to a float, and then we print the list, and we're all ready to actually go and use this for data analysis. So like I said, I'm going to push this now to my GitHub repository, git add dot, git commit dash m update, git push, and now it's up there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, or post to my channel. Have a wonderful day.